And then back to Wisdom, here's Bird. Almost found the run of Lawrence. Now it's with Buchanan. In towards Lawrence, now Waghorn. Fingertip save from Dan Bentley. First corner of the game goes to Derby. That's what possession sometimes can do. It can narrow you defensively all across the one side of the pitch. The switch was on, crossing the box. We mentioned Waghorn in the pre-game show where he's always asking questions. Picks up a great little position. Dan Bentley had his position and nailed on and just pushes it over the bar. But Stroud pulls that one back. It's now with Marshall on the side today following his uh, heroics for Scotland in the penalty shootout. But he's almost gone from hero to zero there. Patterson almost capitalises on a mistake. Let off the hook, but that was close. It is mobile. This is the chance there where Marshall takes a chance and gets away. You can see what I'm saying. It's not him. He's, he's a little bit uncomfortable playing that type of play, playing that kind of type of pivot behind the back four. Um, and there's a lot of clips from games this season where he has turned the ball over, he's made the wrong decision, and teams have counted in the game against Barnsley. You know, that was the goal. So, um, you know, it's one of those areas we may be able to exploit. Well, it's going to be Rooney to take this corner. It's an orchestrated move, and then the shot over the crossbar. It was Buchanan with the effort. Bristol City can breathe a sigh of relief. Yeah, obviously something from the training ground. Bird runs across the front. There's blocks in there. You can see Callum O'Dowd ends up on the floor. I think that's him just throwing his body in front of it, to be fair. But, um, you know, that's what time on the training pitch does afford you. Naj back to Zach Viner. A fierce ball in towards Hunt, but it unlocks an attack for Bristol City. Patterson tries to get away from his marker. Semenyo. High and wide into the Atio stand in the end, but again, the build-up play for Bristol City, really impressive. Really impressive, yeah, really good phase. Nice little intricate play with Patterson just with the little jacks, little set, and you can see Antoine Semenyo, it is quality off both feet. He can really strike a ball. It's a credit to the players and their individual kind of desire to do the work. Here's Semenyo, skips past one marker, then two. And fires low and hard, and David Marshall does well to get down, but he's finding himself in some uh, testing positions, Antoine Semenyo. And towards Bird, falls Kylie for Holmes, who has space, lines up the shot, deflected. Dan Bentley left scrambling, and it will be another corner. That's Holmes picking up that pocket again. We spoke about just someone needs to organise that there. That space right in front of Thomas Callas. What midfield player drops in, and it's Callas who actually makes the block in the end. But it's a couple of times he's picked up that dangerous position in front of the 18. Again, similar to Cardiff. Nice little you know, tell him ball in the box. Here he comes again onto his left foot, low and hard at the near post, and David Marshall gets down well. Naki Wells makes a great run for the first chance and similar here as well you can see he just makes a run across David Marshall's eye line anything that comes off and might say they spoke with that at half time Antoine Semenyo's shot he had in the first half comes off David Marshall and on this occasion he holds on but Naki Wells there for any spillages bring it out through Jack Hunt up to Semenyo Hunt continues his run numbers forward here in red shirts Hunt has acres of space to find a cross in towards Semenyo with the header, and it will be a goal kick. Again, really good numbers making the box, but you can see Derby's recovery runs, like Rooney just can't cover the distance, and you see Jack Hunt making the overlapping run. Great little pull off Antoine Semenyo, probably a very difficult header, but Naki Wells coming behind him, was it a better opportunity? Potentially so, if he just gets his voice. Stood up by Buchanan, now with Hunt. Excellent ball from Hunt. De Silva, the last man you want challenging for a header, but now Patterson! And he should have done better there, Jamie Patterson, by his standards. Yeah, you're right, he'd be good at he hasn't hit the target. That's where you want Jamie Patterson with his quality, his right foot. Falls to him in a perfect position, right in the middle of the goal, and you're just thinking, yeah, Jamie Patterson, 
certainly at least hit the target. Wisdom does quite well, and Clark getting across the block, but as I said, he'd be disappointed he didn't hit the target. He's the one man you want in that kind of area. Semenyo does enough to find Patterson, gets the return pass. Semenyo could be on here for Bristol City. Space for Jeju! And Jeju makes the impact from the bench for Bristol City. His first goal of the season for Pomara Jeju and Bristol City break the deadlock. I was just going to say, Antoine Semenyo is offering this other side of his game where he's a bit of a target man. We said when Chris Martin was on, himself and Semenyo are good target men. But on this occasion, wins the first header. It's a brilliant header and then he gets the return pass into the channel to find that pass. As I said about clarity, <laughs> what was I talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about sometimes. It's a great pass, great pullback into the Fumara Jeju. What a finish as well, low and hard, brilliant. Assist number six for Antoine Semenyo this season. And you can just see the joy. Jeju does his job off the bench as well. Brilliant to see him back scoring goals. And Bristol City are now 11 and a half minutes away from their third win on the bounce. This time the cross is going to be too long, I thought. Kept alive though, Dan Bentley feels as though that went out of play. But now Bristol City can break through De Silva. And he sets Jeju away. Can he double his tally for the afternoon? One on one with Wayne Rooney. Holds the ball up, finds De Silva. And Chris Brunt, with the effort, flies into the south stand. But you thought Jay De Silva might have backed himself there. His duty defensively. Clark carries on forward. Falls Kylie for Lawrence. A few cries of penalty. Still alive, though, for Derby County. And for a minute, I thought that was going to find its way into the back of the net. Knight looks on in disgust. Shade given furious with the fourth official. But surely... That is the last throw of the dice for Derby County. They're asking for a foul here. I thought they fouled Zach Vine. Oh, it's Jack Hunt just the out of shot there as he pushed them into Zach Vine. And I don't know if he's looking for it, Waghorn. He's clever like that, to be fair. But again, see out the danger. Kick this down the pitch and a huge three points. And Jack Hunt doing what he does best late on in games. And there it is, win number three for Bristol City in a row. Antoine Semenyo, as you can see in your picture there, the man that carved the opening. Another assist for him, redemption for him as well against Derby County. A coaching staff embrace on the touchline, but it's that man in your picture there. Calm, calmness personified for Mara Jeju steps up, finds the back of the net, another crucial win and another massive clean sheet for that man there as well.